Now you know how everyone has that incredible picture that they take when they go travelling or go on holiday and everyone's like, wow, that's amazing. Hoi An is probably the place you're going to take that incredible photo. The town appears to have been frozen as a 15th to 19th century trading port. Cars and motorbikes have been banned from the old quarter, leaving cyclists, rickshaws and walkers to roam the streets. One of the most interesting things for me built during this time was the construction of a bridge to separate the Japanese and Chinese living quarters, with a stream separating the two different cultures. It's one of the only bridges in the world that has a Buddhist temple inside. Everyone in Vietnam talks about how they got their suits, dresses and even swimming costumes tailored. Hoi An is probably the place they got it made. With over 500 tailors in Hoi An, you can be pretty sure that you're in the best place when it comes to getting the best value for something tailored. The Central Market is a great example of a modern day Vietnamese market. You can find flowers, fruit and even a pig's head. One. Forty. Thirty, come on. Forty. Forty, okay. Yeah. Forty, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. At dusk, it's worth getting a small wooden boat to take you down the river. before heading over to the Old Town for an evening stroll to admire the silk lanterns. And if you feel like giving a wish, head over to the river where you can release a floating lantern. If you're limited on time and want to make sure you go to all the classic Vietnamese towns and cities like Hoi An, go over and talk to a youth travel specialist. <laughs>